Hey guys, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we took on this area once again, but this time in Nairu's Sacred Realm, and we received these, these claw shots, which will let us reach all new areas. So, ooh, 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 I want this, 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 I want... Sometimes, in life, you don't always get what you want. Anyway, where we're going to want to go is this blue beacon that I set up in the last episode. But before heading off over there, there are some goddess chests. Goddess chests. There are some goddess cubes that we weren't able to get last time because we needed these claw shots. So, where we're going to want to go... I'm trying to remember. No. Is an area where we can claw shot our way up there, and it may just, in fact, be, like, right over here, so let's just... Surprise this Boko Boblin! And do that. But, also, let's head... over... here, because I believe there's an area we can claw shot, claw shot our way up, which is not an actual word, but I think it's right here, so if we just line up with this... Hey! Boko Boblin! Not right now. And we come over here. We can get this goddess cube that has been taunting us since the very beginning of the Lanairu region. That weird, that Skyward Strike looked a little weird. It didn't look like a whole strike. It looked like a shot, like a little bullet. Anybody else notice that? Yeah, I don't know. Let's just dig up whatever's in here. Wait, was there nothing in there? Really? Really, game? Really? Anyway, let's go back over here. Right up there. Okay. Good. The next area that we're going to want to head over is... Right over here, where we, uh... Bombed that area over there. This area that we bombed last time where we collected a piece of heart. Moblin, I don't feel like dealing with you, so I'm not going to. Because we got more important things to do. We're going to head over here in this area where we collected the piece of heart, like I said before. Because with our claw shots, there is an area that we can now navigate that I told you that you wanted to make note of last time, so let's just avoid these electric, or these okay, you are not avoidable, but ah, yes you are, okay let's just claw shot our way over here you don't have to hold any buttons he's already holding onto it, you just gotta click A to shoot, and move around and then let's go to this one and let's go to that one and then back around over here. And then to over there. And I believe that's where we want to go because right over here. Is there another claw shot? Yes, there is. Right over here is a goddess cube that has also been taunting us since we've gotten to the Lanaira region. Just do that, and there we go. And we will pick up these two um, in the sky at a later point when we need to go back over there. But for the meanwhile, let's head over to that area that I said I was going to meet you at. But like I said, I'm probably going to fly up in the air and then come back down because I just don't want to navigate the Lanaira region because that's not my favorite area to navigate. Actually, no, Farron Woods is not my favorite place to navigate. This place, at least, is a little bit easier to navigate. Where is that thingy I'm looking for? Where's the bird statue? Eh, of course. It's all the way over there. Anyway, I will go bird statue and fly up and I will meet you back here in just a second. Oh, wait, hold on, there's something up here for us. Look at this, before I cut. Up here, 
behind this bird statue is something else we can get. A desk relic. So there is one here. Yeah, I knew that there was just a few scattered around in the regular areas, not just solely in the uh, Silent Realms. So, oh, let's claw shot our way over here. Can I not claw shot? Oh, yes, I can. Thank you. See, claw shots just make everything easier in this area. In this area. Anyway, I'll meet you back here in just a few seconds, or a second, because I'm gonna cut. Starting now. <laughs> Alright, now that we're here in this area, instead of navigating all the way over there, guess what we could do? We can have we have some claw shot areas that we couldn't get to before. So what we want to do is stand about here and just claw shot our way up into this new area. Because as you see indicated by the map, this is where we needed to go. So let's just take our beacon off and let's head in here to the Lanairu Caves. So let's just go around here. Oh, butterflies, 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 butterflies. You know what that means. One of these little boing oing 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 thing is. And we get an evil crystal. I don't believe we've received an evil crystal yet. Let's just find out. No, we haven't. So, that's an evil crystal for us. So, that's good to know. Behind here, I believe this is just another little goodie or something. Yep. Monster horn. But. Okay, show us that we got a little monster horn. Some Boko Bobbins carry monster horns around their waist. We could use our whip to get ourselves some. Huh, that's an easier way to obtain them now. What does this thing say? Hmm. Okay, I don't think we can head... Oh, no, we can, but I think that's the area we came in from. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Because we came in from somewhere else. Let's find out what's over here. I don't know what's over here. I want to know. But I don't really remember what's over. Okay, can I get up here, please? Oh, can't do anything yet. Okay. Can't do anything with that area. That's a random key area. Now let's... Did I read this sign already? I don't think I read this one. Oh, pretty much says the same thing. Okay. So, I believe... Let's get a bomb. A bomb. And let's roll it to there. And let's do the same thing. It's right over there. And let's find out. Let's see what's in here. Oh, nope, gotta roll another bomb over here in this area. Okay. Yes, the big elephant in the room is that guy over there, which I know I'm not talking to him yet, but I will get there in just a little bit, and now we've opened up that area. Now it does the little Zelda little jingle for us, so let's just... Oh, I think I have to throw another bomb in there if I want to get those contents. Okay, it's probably just rupees. I don't really want them. Uh, I believe... Yeah, there's another area bomb. This area is always really confusing to me, just because everything in this air, in this room looks exactly the same. That's gonna blow up on me. Okay. Oh, dang it, that's not what I wanted. But everything in this room looks exactly the same to me, so I can never figure out exactly where I'm going. Let's just pick up some ants. Pick up some ants. I want the ant, or the one ant. That's cool, just the one Lanai Rand is perfectly fine. Uh, I don't feel like picking you up. Now, did I bomb this area all the way through? Let's see if I have to. Let's see if I have to bomb it again. 
And then we'll go talk to that guy. So let's just. Oh, rupees. So I guess it's just like what the last one was. It just had a little pot. Hello, voice. And you're doing some weird scratchy throat things. Um, where is this guy? Here he is. I almost never get visitors. My name is Golo, and I am researching the legend of the three dragons, one of which is said to live here. At first glance, it would seem that there is nothing in this area, but I know there is something here. I will just keep on looking. So, your name is Link? Not the easiest name to say, is it? But it's super, it's super easy, it's Link. If you're looking for a sacred flame, that sounds like something I have heard before, but maybe oh. not. Sweet, Goro. I remember now. I read something about an ancient scroll that spoke of the Lanairu Sand Sea. I do not remember all the details, but you can get to the Lanairu Sand Sea if you just go straight through here. Oh. Right there. If you want to get to the Lanairu Sand Sea, you're going to need this key. And now we've got a key to go to that room that Ooh. I pointed out before, and we need to head now to this mysterious Lanairu Sand Sea, so let's... Not that way. This way. What's over there? Hey, what's over here? I don't think I know what's over here. Is this where I came in from? Or does this lead to somewhere else that I probably shouldn't even be really heading towards? Let's find out. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Oh, what is what is this area? I do not know, and I kind of want to explore it. Should I? Should I, or should we progress? You know what? There's only one thing to do. Sorry that I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I want to explore this area. That's what I was saying last episode, is um, I wanted to just play the game, but also um, tell the story of the game and the let's play of it, but I also want to just, like, play it and kind of, like, like I normally would. Like, I would explore this area if, even if I was told not to explore this area, because I have no idea where this goes. I think this literally just returns us back to the desert. Oh, I don't know what this is. Wait, where am I? Seriously, where am I? Oh! I totally know where I'm at now! This is that area with the, the beginning area of this of this place. It's... I'm... Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't know that this is where this was. But anyway, so I guess if you want to go back to the area where we started in the Lanairu region in the beginning... Wait, what's over here? What's this? What's this? Wait, is that where I just came from? Yeah, that is where I came from. Whoops. Sorry. Let's try this again and go the way that we're supposed to go. Which is over to the Lanaru Sand Sea, an area that we have not yet been to. Can I can I go with that one? Can I shoot at that one? No, I can't. So I have to shoot it. I shot that the thing. Take me to the thing. I don't know how these. I don't know technically how these things work. These claw shots work. Right. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And back to one. So, that's not the way I wanted to go, but it was just a nice little treat for... If you were wondering what's over there. But now, with the key, let's head to the way that we're supposed to go. There we go. Open it, and let's head into this new area. Really? You're just not gonna... You're just not gonna make me... Link's just not gonna walk by himself. Okay, then. I don't understand. I thought he was just gonna continue walking by himself. A report, Master. This is Lanairu Sansi. This whole area was once a vast ocean. But the water has all evaporated, and now the area is a sea of sand. Huh. You don't say. Signs indicate that this place functioned as a port, linking the land to the sea. And with that, we have opened Lanairu Sand Sea, 
our next area that we will explore in the Lanairu region. Or desert. Or whatever. This area operates on a new form of power. There's a 90% probability that the Sacred Flame is located ahead. I recommend exploring the Samsi. Oh, of course we will. So the Sacred Flame is somewhere nearby here in this sand sea that used to actually be an actual sea. But I believe somewhere around here is something that we're going to want to pick up. So I'm going to want to look at every area here. So let's go to this one. And look around before continuing. I thought that was something here. I'm pretty sure I thought that was like a goddess cube. Somewhere. Oh no, you know where? I know where a goddess cube is at. But let's claw shot our way to here. And I, lo I love this song so much. This is probably one of my favorite tracks of the game. It's just so... Like, perfect to this area. And I believe this track gets a little remix later on. Um, when we do something else in this area. But let's just avoid all these. And where we want to go is not have our thing being depleted. We want to head over here because there is something for us over here so let's get on top of these and claw shots yeah claw shot is totally a verb kids that's exactly what this game is teaching you is that this is a the claw shot is a verb when we enter here so many of these arachas let's just swing That's it. That's all you have to do, was just swing and they'll be out of your way. Don't worry about these Arakas. They're pretty much, like I stated when we were in the Lanairu Mining Facility, they're pretty much the weakest enemy. They don't do, they do like half a heart of damage, and they only take like one hit from your sword, so yeah, don't worry about it. Anyway, this area is just so cool. I love this area. The Lan Lanairu region isn't my favorite favorite area, but it has some really cool, interesting concepts that make it a good area. Probably, probably up there. Anyway, there was another goddess cube right there, so we've gotten three goddess cubes in this episode, so that is something good. I don't think there's anything back here for us. Nope, so let's just go back over here. No, right there. I know there's another claw shot to get out of here, isn't there? I'm not like perpetually stuck here. That makes sense. I forget how to exactly get out of here. But I will find a way. I think I just can just Oh, it's right here. Totally missed this box right here. Standing there, but let's just head over here to save our game. Boop. Just like that. And let's see. This episode is coming up to about 19 minutes, but let's just see what's over here. Hmm. We've got this little guy right here. Doesn't really do much. But we know that if we hit time shift stones... get on the boat. Can I... Can I hit the thing? Yes! Once we hit time shift stones, these little guys will come back. Check it out. In the past, there was water. And I also believe... Let's try this. I 
I think the music might change from like the future to the past, uh, the present and the past, like it does everywhere else. I don't know. Maybe it's when we're actually on the sea itself. Hmm. Who are you? This is some human vroom. Who am I? Vroom. I'm the proud skipper of the ship that protects Nairu's flame. Fweep. So you know where Nairu's flame is at then. Perfect. It was the day of the storm. Foo we, my crew and I were navigating the seas as usual. And then those brutes. The pirates suddenly attacked us. They were after Nairu's flames. My crew was imprisoned, Vert, and I was thrown into the sea. I drifted on the current to this port. Vroom. After that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were nowhere to be found. Vert. Haunts me wondering where my ship could be. Fweep. I bet my hat they turned the ship invisible and are hiding out somewhere. You can't see it. Well, why can't we see it? In order to protect Nairu's flame, the ship has a function that allows it to become invisible. Fweep. Huh. You say you're searching for Nairu's flame? So you need Nairu's flame to find someone important to you. Vroom. In that case, you should help me search for my ship and crew. Fweep. help me, then I guess I'll let you on my boat. Perfect. Let's do it. I'll help you. Really? Well, in that case... Hmm. There's something weird about that map of yours. Well, fine. If you're going to navigate these treacherous waters, then you need a proper sea chart. Do we? There's a sea chart in my shack at Skipper's Retreat. So first you need to get on this boat and set course for Skipper's Retreat. Shall we shove off? Let's wait, and we will actually head off to Skipper's Retreat in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I know there wasn't a lot of progress here, but we reached this new area. But on the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we will begin to navigate the past area of the uh, Lanairu Sand Sea for Skipper's Retreat so we can get a sea chart so we can find his crew and his ship being taken hostage by the pirates, so we can get to the, uh, Nairu's Flame. So, next episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we will do just that. I will see you then. Put away your sword. We're not fighting anybody. And put away your stuff. We're just ending, we're just ending the episode, Link. Calm down. Everybody calm down. And I'll see you on the next one.